Goodbye, my dear. Bye. It's a big day today. Real big day. <sighs> Huge day. So we're starting out with a run, just getting some stuff out, you know. Just clearing, clearing the way. Gonna do a little barefoot run this morning. Probably just about two and a half, three miles. You know, big days like this, you get real nervous. This is uh, the day we find out a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna get this out of the way and then we can talk about it more. I don't like running very long on concrete with these shoes at all, but it was just a quick run this morning. Happy birthday. I think Stephanie was really tired of riding in my truck. I had like crusties on the bottom of it. And uh, since it's my birthday, I guess she's backing me it out. Pretty amazing woman right there. The healthy chew has given us the healthies. I got a surprise nugget. You got a surprise nugget. Oh my gosh. So Stephanie, what, is the, what do these things do? It's fish oil, so it has a lot of omega-3s, like EPA and DHA. It's they good stink. for your brain function. Get Willis out of there. All right, good. Well, I'll do anything to get Willis out, but this is, you're totally red-pilling me right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what we're missing. We are missing. Coffee. I went to go make it this morning and they didn't, we just didn't have any. It's all right, my head, my head was actually hurting a little bit this morning. Probably don't need any coffee. Oops. It's time to fuel up. Get on the road. Thank you so much, and uh, I look forward to seeing this thing. It's gonna be awesome. Another amazing story I can't wait to tell you as soon as this thing unfolds. What do you think of your car? The car looks amazing. Thank it's like you, a honey. brand new car. And oh my gosh, what is, we, where did this come from? We brought him. You brought him? Does he have a name? Oh, I did. That's about the size of your tumor. We measured it. That is literally the size of. Really? Yeah. This is Willis. That's Willis right there. So there's, <laughs> there's a rock. It's got these weird faces. Like, what do you call that? I forget what you call that. I don't know, but they're it's double sided. So it's there's double sided. Two like two different. It, he's like angry on one side, and he's he's like he's like smirking on one side, like happy, and then he's angry on the other side. That's pretty much Willis right That's there. That's the exact same size. Today is a huge day, folks. Huge, 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 humongous day. This is the big, big, big day that I've been waiting for and probably a lot of you have been waiting for. Are crooked. So this is where we find out what what the treatment plan is going to be. What's what's my fate? Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. Don't worry. It's the Herman Munster Crab Hospital. <laughs> the Herman Crab Hospital. <laughs> Herman Crab, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Just keep me posted when you can. Don't you don't have to rush. Just enjoy the people that you're with today, and uh, I will talk to you when it's a good time to talk to you. All right, sounds good. Sounds love you, mom. Okay. All right, love you too. Bye bye. Bye. At the hospital. Going to the Herman Crab Hospital. For Mama, I left you. Start fishing, freaks. Hang with us. So we're here now. This is the big moment. I'm not really supposed to film inside of here. My contacts at the hospital already told us that we can't really show too much. I feel like I have to share this with everybody. It's a literally a venting mechanism. I was telling Stephanie this, like when I'm talking to you about it, it, it kind of helps me get my mind off of it and get in a better mindset. So it's therapeutic for me. Um, but I can't really share too much about this whole deal. I want everything to go smoothly. Main thing is getting Winston out. Or, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Winston. I miss Winston. Main thing is getting Willis out. Old Willis here. So, are you ready? Yeah. Are you nervous? This is the I'm biggest ready. day of our lives besides our wedding. But at least after today, we'll, we'll have a plan. We'll know what to expect. I know. I just want to get all these I answers want, cleared. Yeah, we just want answers at this point. I'm just, I'm nervous. Buildings, madness. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? I'm dizzy. It's <laughs> a strong elevator. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So we're in the office. Mm -hmm. the this office. this could be either really good or really bad. Really nervous. This is not your normal doctor visit. Sweating. 
Whew. It's so dark in here. I feel like uh, I feel like we need to find a better spot. We need a nice, good, positive-looking spot, not a no. damp, dark garage. <laughs> Guys, just hang in the there for breaks. <laughs> I can never live in the city. Driving on these roads that have tracks on them. What's go? And what is that? There's a daggum train behind me. <laughs> what the heck? I'm driving on the road with a train. I'm not meant to live in the city. This, this Get normal. me back to the country. Now this is much better. Oh yes. The sun has come out. It was all dreary when we went in there. It was, it was like fitting with the mood. It's kind of strange. And now we can deliver some goodness to you with water in the background. There's even a duck that's coming through the frame right now. Look at that. Nature, nature moments. So we sat in there for probably an hour just on pins and needles. The doctor finally came in and I don't think it could have gone any better. And unless he just said, hey, you're too Willis is cured. He He's shrank. Not He's not there anymore. You're good to go. Get back on the water, son. That didn't happen. But what he did say was he sees these tumors a lot. He sees tumors like people from all over the world come to this guy. He said he does a hundred, a oh hundred of these things a year. 150 a year. Yeah, it's something crazy like that. So we're in super, super good hands, guys. We're looking at surgery and maybe a little radio knife. I'm not sure what yet what that. A gamma knife. A gamma knife. He said 95% sure it's not cancerous which that is huge to hear. And the surgery, he said he can do this like no problem. He felt pretty confident. The way he was talking about it, I felt really, really good. Um, he said, you're a young man, you're, you've got plenty of time to recover. So that all that has, um, has to do with when they do the surgery or if they do surgery or treatment, it's almost too big to do radiotherapy. It's been in there a while, he said, and they basically said it was a large tumor. So that's amazing, amazing news. We are super, super thrilled to hear that. Um, all of your positive comments, prayers, just everybody thinking about us. It was all kind of riding on today, and I, I feel like today was the first good monster day. step. Like, first good step in, hey, we're gonna get this. We got positive news, we have an action plan, and Willis is going down. Now the other great news is, uh, it's not urgent that I have this surgery like next week. Uh, they recommend I do it by the end of this year, and I think we're gonna schedule it for November right now. And that's going into deer season, mm -hmm. and um, that's a little disappointing. But, I'm not complaining. So this also means I've, I think I can go on my other big trips. They've got some special medication they're gonna put me on. I still have a risk of having a, a seizure or a stroke. Um, so that's not good, but we're, we're definitely gonna you know, keep my health up. I'm gonna stay dedicated to the balance and getting in top notch shape, physically, mentally, and spiritually until the moment comes when I'm gonna have this surgery operation. We're actually gonna go meet with some people right after this and really find out more about the cost of this surgery. The doctor said that uh, it was gonna be very expensive. Um, he didn't even give us like a price. He, he didn't even said, tell us. Mm, it's gonna be expensive. I'm not, even, I'm not even totally sure we can do it with private pay, which is another good thing that we're gonna delay the surgery a few months is because we're trying like hell to get on some sort of insurance. Um, all the support that you guys have had and buying the shirts and everything, that has just taken care of us on all of our medical costs so far, um, you know, not being on insurance. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I pray that we don't need uh, any more than what we already have. I don't know how much brain surgery costs. I don't know how much this is gonna be and I don't know how much our insurance will cover and if we can get on a plan and there's a lot of still unknowns there. But I just wanna say thank you guys for your support um, and everything just creating that that circle that's impenetrable. Today is just, I can't believe it. It's awesome. It's the best feeling in the world. This is the best birthday gift. I was gonna say, it I is could your birthday get. today. It is my birthday today. And I'm super excited to be sitting here with Steph. Um, the sun's out and we just found out this incredible news that we're gonna take care of this thing. And I feel good about it, so. It's a good day. Whew. 
a fantastic thing. All right, guys, I'm standing here with Stephen. Stephen has an interesting story, an uh, inter interesting connection to this whole thing. He is a, he's a fishing freak. His friends are fishing freaks down here in old age town. And uh, your pops, your dad. Yeah, your, my, my pops. He helped just rapid fire this whole situation to get us an appointment. So uh, I owe a big thanks to you and your pops. We're going to go fishing yeah. after this. Oh, for sure, so definitely. You know, H-Town guys down here, fishing freaks, are looking out for me. And uh, especially Steven and his buddies. So just want to give a shout out to these guys. Thank you, brother. Awesome. Sounds good. A lot of toy, <laughs> Bella. Bella. Bella, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, good, good distraction. <laughs> we got some fishing freaks hey, here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks to every single one of y'all for coming by. Yeah, no Thank problem. You. Helping me down here in H Town, oh, yeah. get oh, me yeah. through. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys. See you. Bye. Bye. Heading home on a dream state, flying high up here. Listen to that tone. Magic. That must be Willis. Wow. Yeah, Willis cannot sing at all. Head back home to the Casa, guys. I'm going to wrap this thing up for you in a nice little package. Good little story for you. Just give us one second. <sighs> okay. It's the next morning, and I have my coffee, so life is good. Oh, man. When I was having all those headaches and stuff, I wasn't really able to drink coffee because it was just like, it was too strong. It was making me irritated. So, it feels good. Take a good sip. I think it's time to tell this story now. I was gonna, I was gonna wait, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. You know, I get a lot of requests to go uh, speak at different venues and, and schools and things like that, and I don't really do a whole lot of them. I'm always traveling around and not really sure what my schedule is gonna be. About a year and a half ago, uh, this young man uh, sent me a message, and just the way he talked and presented himself I was just very impressed and it reminded he reminded me of myself uh, back when I was in high school very proactive in in biology and wanting to uh, do conservation and and all this so he wanted me to come down to his his fishing club at his high school and talk and I was pretty close by and so I decided to go down there one night and hang out with those guys. So I got to meet Steven, who you met in this video already. And I got to meet his, his dad, they're a very nice family. The whole club was nice, the high school was great, Stratford High School. And his dad was just super nice and super grateful that I came down there. And I was like, hey, I just came down here and talk about fishing, no big deal, whatever. And he was just very, very thankful and a great gentleman. So when Willis showed up and everything started going downhill, um, I started getting a lot of recommendations for doctors. Like, hey, if you need recommendations, if you need help finding a, a surgeon that will operate on this type of tumor, um, people just reaching out all over the place. So I started making a list. And obviously the first thing we wanted to do was, you know, stay local, stay localized and, and try to figure out, out that. And then the other thing was insurance. So some of these uh, hospitals and, and doctors just wouldn't see me and Stephanie, really just see me and Willis, um, because we don't have insurance right now. And they don't want to even deal with that. It's hard to explain that to a hospital and say like, hey, I've got a, a fishing freak community out here of people that's going to help, you know, let's, let's not worry about the price tag right now. But their hospitals, their businesses, you know, they got to take that into account. So I get an email from Steven's dad, and I didn't know this when I went down there to, to speak at Steven's high school, but his dad is uh, an executive at the hospital that we're going to um, at Memorial Hermann. So in his message to me, he basically reveals, hey, I'm an executive here. If you need any sort of help, we can get that for you. And not only that, but I'm, I'm friends with one of the best surgeons in the world for this type of tumor, and really all brain tumors. Dr. Kim, he is literally like at the top of the field on brain tumors. Uh, he performs hundreds of these a year. He is um, an expert, and he's done 
you know, probably thousands of brain surgeries at this point. He's the guy that goes out and teaches other people how to do brain surgery like he does. And in fact, I don't know if you guys remember when Congress lady Gabby Gifford got shot in the head and her brain was exposed and it was a bad situation. He's the guy that fixed her. So David tells me that not only is he an executive there, but he's also a personal friend of Dr. Kim and he can get a meeting right away. And to get a meeting with Dr. Kim is difficult. We're talking people all over the world coming to get surgery from him um, and his time is very, very valuable. So for us to be able to slide in there at a moment's notice, get a meeting, um, <laughs> it was incredible. So I have to thank David, I have to thank Steven. Um, they're fishing freaks. This hospital, Memorial Hermann, the best treatment I've ever had. We go in there, not only are they an incredible hospital and experts in this field, um, this particular unit of operating, doing brain surgery, but also knowing when I go in there, they know I'm a YouTuber, they know everything is, is going on, and um, they're happy to accommodate with that, guys. I mean, we're, we're probably looking at um, getting this brain surgery on camera. Imagine that. Imagine my brain surgery on camera going on YouTube. Crazy, right? Dr. Kim was one of the first people ever to perform brain surgery on social media. He's actually proactive on social media. So I don't know how this could work out any better. So the moral of the story is you never know who you're going to run into. And the other thing is there is a plan. There is things working. And when you kind of take a step back and you, you see how those little coincidences line up, it is crazy. It makes you feel like a very small person and there's a lot of bigger things going on that are out of your control, but there's somebody controlling it. So on my birthday, I had no cake, I had no presents, I had no candles to blow out, but I had the best birthday I've ever had. Number one, going in to the, the surgeon's office and just having your support and knowing that no matter what happens, I've got this group of people around me that are gonna lift me up. And number two, getting the best news I could possibly ask for besides the brain tumor mysteriously being gone. Really was fearing radiation treatment and I'm probably gonna have to have a little bit of it, but I think I can live with that. Um, but being able to take this thing out via surgery and for Dr. Kim to say that this was low risk on his level, because he's amazing, I think that's the best we can ask for, guys, at this point. And all of your prayers, all of your support, it's all working. It's all coming to fruition, guys. This is working out. Um, so good. I know this is a long vlog guys, but um, I feel like I just got to get all this stuff out of there This is the biggest day of my life besides getting married to Ocean Spoon Girl and getting saved besides those those two things and maybe being born um, This is a huge huge day the next huge day is gonna be when they take this thing out of my face But I was shocked when I went to the doctor's office today and they weighed me. I feel like I'm unhealthily unhealthily light. I gotta build some muscle on me. I got to get in better shape before I go into this surgery. I think we're looking at two months out right now. And so it's going to be my goal to get in the best shape possible going into surgery because after the surgery, I'm pretty much going to be uh, a vegetable um, for about a week. And then for a whole month, basically, I'm out of the game. Like I won't be able to work, um, probably won't be able to fish, do anything. So I want to be in top shape when I go in there they cut me open then they lay me down and then <laughs> I can recover but if I go in there at my current weight right now I'm gonna look scary after after the surgery I'm gonna look like a skeleton luckily I live with a dietitian that can help me with that and the motivation and the drive off the charts because of you guys so we still have a long road ahead of us until that surgery day and then probably looking at having treatments and doctor's visits for a long time after that but that's okay guys and i am i have total confidence 
that everything is gonna be all right. I'm gonna come out of this a stronger person. Not just having the tumor removed, but this whole experience and having you guys behind my back just lifts me up every day. So thank you guys so much. I can't wait to, to share even more stories with you. This whole experience has been a roller coaster of craziness. So love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next video.